I know I can't be the only one who felt like a massive loser after college because I couldn't get a girlfriend if my life depended on it. One of the reasons I struggled in the beginning with my dating game was because I was too busy comparing myself to others, especially my three white buddies who had all started our journey of male self-improvement and pick up at roughly the same time. There was this short five foot five, average looking Asian dude, surrounded by a backup hip hop dancer for Britney Spears, a guy who looked like a European male model, and a bodybuilder. And we all started within a month of each other having taken a mystery method boot camp. But I couldn't help but feel like I was always lagging behind them in making progress with women. They'd be way more successful than me in getting dates and hookups while I was practicing my approaches and going out like four to six nights a week. And I was barely keeping up with them. I was literally racking up hundreds of approaches and it could barely get a girl's number. Every time I'd make a little bit of progress, a little bit of headway, I'd look over what they were doing and it just didn't seem to measure up. They were dating and hooking up within months and there I was barely treading water. So I discredit my own progress and beat myself up for not being as good as them. It wasn't until I went to Europe and saw that it was like to game on easy or normal mode where my race wasn't automatically used against me that I finally start to lift all those limiting beliefs and bullshit stories I had about myself, my Asian-ness, and my height. That's when my romantic journey really started to take off. I literally had romantic success the first night in Europe, and I just kept having success in every city to the point that when everyone left to go back to the USA, I was like, Fuck it, I'm gonna stay in Europe and go to the Scandinavian countries for two extra weeks. And boy, did I have some fun with those tall, blonde, Scandinavian queens right up until the very last night when I finally flew back to America. With my mindset completely transformed into the new 2.0 mental operating system, free from all those racial and sexual limiting beliefs. I stopped comparing myself to others and started focusing on my own progress. And that's when things really began to change for me. The truth is, what other people are doing has zero impact on your progress. Just because someone else seems to be killing it, you don't know what their routine looks like, how long they've been at it, or what their struggles they've gone through. Social media and these constant comparisons are toxic because we're not built to be so absorbed into each other's lives. It's like trying to read someone's mail. You're not supposed to be in their business. Yeah, it's discouraging sometimes to feel like you've been grinding away at the same stuff while someone else just seems to breeze through it. But you're assuming they got it easily and you don't really know that. Everyone's journey is different especially when it comes to things like game and self-improvement. What works for one guy might not work the same for you, and that's okay. I wasted so much time feeling bad about where I was compared to others, thinking that if I just got mad enough, or if I was just envy enough that somehow my game would level up out of pity, that women would throw themselves on me. But that's not how it works. Unfortunately, you've got to focus on your own journey, your own progress, and stop letting what other people do dictate your own self-worth. Remember, their success has nothing to do with yours. Embrace your own path, your own growth, and don't let anyone else's journey make you feel less than. You deserve to enjoy your own successes no matter what. And if you're ready to take your journey to the next level and tackle the challenges holding you back, sign up for a free coaching call to discuss your goals. No risk and no strings attached. Link is in the bio. Let's see how we can help you get where you want to be. And if you want more insights on self-improvement, confidence, and dating, make sure to like the video and follow me. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.